What's up? What's good, YouTube? How y'all doing? I'm doing all right. And today we got a video. Now I'm not promoting anything, okay? But I'm just gonna say it might be your option, okay? It might be your option. All right. So this video. I found it the other day, and um, because I've been doing research on different stuff, because uh, I wanted to figure out what I wanted to talk about in my class at school and whatever, but this ain't got nothing to do with that. But I saw this video, and I was like, okay, could it be true? Cannabis compounds prevent coronavirus from entering human cells. <laughs> I had to look again like <laughs> okay all right good evening the study is all over social media and some people are saying they believe it and others are saying they're waiting for more information before they decide but we went to a local cannabis shop and we spoke with the doctor tonight this is going to be stronger and CBG. Alex is a bud tender at Exotics in Hollywood, a cannabis shop offering a plethora of popular products. Okay, and this is for news purposes only. I don't want nobody coming for me. You know what I'm saying? But I just had to show this with, to you guys, all right? People have been coming in more for CBD related products. There's a possibility even more people will be coming to buy CBD products following a study out of Oregon State University. Okay. So this ain't just come from, you know, this is a study from Oregon State University. Shout out to Oregon State. Suggesting cannabis compounds can help prevent the virus that causes COVID-19. And people have been saying this. For years, like all you need is your herbs and your spices. Study is sparking reaction. Some people believe in vaccines, some people believe in other options. In my opinion, I just think that uh, if people want to try it, go for it. So now Joshi is a cannabis user and agrees. Honestly, um, I think we're all just sick of being inside and having to wear masks. So if it makes anything 1% better, then for sure, let's do it. Right. Okay. I'm just saying, for sure, let's do it. Like, for real. For sure. Let's do it. Products. Researchers say during the study, two compounds, CBG and CBD, commonly found in hemp, bound to the spike proteins found on the virus and blocked them from infecting people. Mm -hmm. But the cannabis has to be an edible form, not mm -hmm. smoked or vaped. The study is considered promising by some, and it's not the first time Alex has heard about a study like this in the shop. Some people yeah. do kind of say often, they're like, oh, I've heard sativa weed helps prevent COVID. Mm -hmm. But is the Oregon study valid? Dr. Nathan Newman from Santa Monica Urgent Care weighs in. I wouldn't go out and buy a bunch of edibles right now in the hopes that you're going to prevent a COVID infection. While the study is interesting, it's in vitro only. Mm. And Newman says more human studies are needed to verify. I don't know of any studies that have analyzed the cannabis users and incidents of uh, COVID-19 infections. I would imagine that there's really no difference in, in those people from everybody else. Newman says vaccinations, masks, and some vitamins are the best preventative methods for COVID-19. And okay. though cannabis does have many reported medical benefits, he says the jury is still out on coronavirus protection. Experimenting with cannabis, uh, that's, that's on you. If you feel like that's something that you need to do, a go ahead within whatever legal means you've got. But remember, it's not a studied drug that has shown any benefit at this point in preventing a COVID-19 infection. So as you just heard from the doctor, he says, let's stick to the tried and true methods for now when it comes to coronavirus prevention and we'll wait and see what happens. But for more information on this study, Okay, yeah. But I just had to share that with y'all. Because, uh, yeah. I just had to share it with y'all. I 
just wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Could be speculations. All right? That's all I'm saying. Till next time. Peace.